Hi, I'm Evan with Solar Edge. This week's tech tip is on how to wire our backup interface. Now we have two versions of our backup interface. We have the backup interface dash N for no breaker and the backup interface dash E for service entrance equipment. This backup interface dash E has a 200 amp breaker and a neutral ground bonding jumper. If you're doing a full home backup system, this is required. If you're doing a partial home backup system, you need to make sure that is removed and not installed. Now, just to note, this is a fully de-energized system before we start working. We're gonna start with landing our grounds and our neutrals. In the back, we have two ground bus bars for small conductors, such as from our inverter. So I'll start wiring there. We also have a neutral bus bar down there for smaller conductors and one up top for larger conductors. So we have our neutral lux here. Once we have installed these, and landed the grounds and neutrals, we will start landing our load side conductors. So I'll start with line two. Now these need to be torqued down to 16.7 foot pounds or 22 Newton meters. Now we're installing line one here on the load side, right? So these are gonna supply energy to the backup loads. Next, let's install the line side from the grid, starting with line two. These lines are coming from our utility grid, our meter. Right, there's one. And this is the second one. This is line one. Great. Once those are torqued down, we're gonna install our rapid shutdown wiring here, and then our inverter communication wiring. After that, I'm going to install our inverter, land our inverter, line one and line two. Now, I'm landing on a breaker here that's a 40 amp breaker. This works out for a 7600 inverter or, or smaller. Now, if you have a 7600 inverter that can do 10 kilowatts in backup, you'll need to go to a 63 amp breaker. As well as if you have an, a 10 kilowatt inverter or an 11.4 kilowatt inverter, you need to go up to a 63 amp breaker and you can get these at your distributor. Great, so that's our tech tip for the week.